This is a 2007 Hawk four horse head to head. We're so happy to see the sun here in Virginia today. It's making this trailer show up nicely. Um, I do want to go ahead and show you this trailer does have some paint issues. This um, is a 2007 and in 2007 they did have some some issues at Hawk with the paint. The white skin is in pretty good shape. The trim definitely shows some wear. Worse on this side than the other side. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but this is a 2007 Hawk. If you know Hawk, you know they're a great quality trailer. Steel frame, aluminum skin. This trailer has a manual jack and a spare tire. We did put four new tires on the trailer yesterday, so it's got four new tires. We checked the wheels down to the spindle. Everything there is in great shape. Brake bearing seals, all good. Whatever it needed, it would have received. We've got aluminum wheels here. The trailer has a ramp on both sides. I have not put a tape measure on this trailer. Specs will be available on my website at trailercountryllc.com, but I have not to put a tape on it just yet. I would tell you, I think both these side ramps are probably four feet. Um, it has an interesting setup inside. I'll get into that with you in a second. Um, but it's, it's a really nice trailer. Yep, the paint's not great. It's a little bit of a different color. Baby blue, Carolina blue, whatever color blue we want to call it today, Columbia blue, um, whatever suits your needs. But it's not a bad trailer at all. Structurally, it's in excellent condition. Frame's great, floor's great, roof is great. Um, the pads are in pretty good shape. You know, you'll see a little wear here and there. Nothing major. But just so you're aware. We've got lots of windows in this trailer. We've got some sliding windows at the horse's heads, sliding windows at their hips, four pop-up vents. Um, as you can see, there are stud doors here in front of the straight load horses. So you can make box stalls. You can have that center aisle there, of course, with four horses head to head. I personally think it's a little snug to try to get horses into that side ramp with those stud dividers there. Uh, with only four feet between them, it's gonna make it snug. You'll definitely have to open up both sides as much as you can lead a horse a little forward and then push them back into their slot in the front. Um, so I'm not sure that it's feasible to use those stud dividers all the time if you're, uh, or stud doors I should say, if you're carrying four horses head to head. But obviously each person can make their own decision there. I just wanna let you know what I'm seeing from my end. Um, so again, 2007 Hawk, brand new tires, aluminum wheels, tons of windows, rear ramp and two side ramps. There are bars that go across these ramps here, but you cannot open these doors with the bar here. It, it just doesn't pull away enough for there. So I just went ahead and took those down so I can show you. So these doors open. Again, the front of the trailer is in the same condition as the rear of the trailer. Lots of windows. Pads are in the same, same general condition. Nothing major. A few little nicks and tears here and there. Floor mats are in good shape. The floor under the mats is in good shape. It is a wooden floor, steel frame, aluminum skin, wooden floor in the Hawk trailer. So if you go to bring a horse in this side ramp, it cannot go past this door. It's a little bit of an awkward setup. I agree, but I just wanna be honest with you about it. So let's say we open up both of these doors here. If you wanted to bring a horse in, to this side ramp and get them on this side, they'd have to come in and turn a super hard left and kind of come up in this slot a little bit and then back into their slot. So I just think that's a little tricky. Um, but the stud doors, there's some wear on that pad a bit. That's definitely the worst looking one. Um, the stud doors are available to you. So you have them if box stalls is your goal. You can put those stud doors in. If four horses head to head, which is a standard center aisle, not an isolated center aisle is your goal, you can certainly make that happen as well. I just don't see that you can use both at the same time. Okay, um, so running boards, full length running boards on this trailer. Load lights over the ramps, side and rear. 
Again, lots of windows. Paint's definitely better over here. The roof line shows a little more wear, or a little wear, not necessarily a little more, but a little wear over here. The paint as a whole is in much better shape over here compared to the street side. Four foot dressing room with four saddle racks. There are head dividers. Those head dividers, again, cannot be used with the stud doors in there. So I think if you're doing a four horse head to head, with just an open center aisle, great. You can use your head dividers. If you wanna have box stalls, then take out your standard dividers and have your box stall gates in there. Trailer does come with four of these vinyl hay bags. Dressing room, pretty darn clean. Of course, a stain on the floor. Typical, it's a used trailer. This is a 2007 Hawk, available at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. I have the trailer listed at $18,000. Um, it does have a GVWR of 12,000 pounds, two 16,000 pound axles there. That tire information isn't necessarily valid because I didn't put the exact same thing back on. Trailer Country LLC, Carrollton, Virginia. All the specs are available at TrailerCountryLLC.com. You can reach me at 757-646-7315.